the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We remember at Mass this morning, Bonnie and Sam Fanning. And let us pray. O God, who made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luangwa and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. He saved us and called us to a holy life, not according to our works, but according to his own design, and the grace bestowed on us in Christ Jesus before time began, but now made manifest through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, for which I was appointed preacher and apostle and teacher. On this account I am suffering these things. I am not ashamed, for I know him in whom I have believed, and am confident that he is able to guard what has been entrusted to me until that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you, to you O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. To you I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven, Behold, as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters. To, to you, you, O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord our God, till he have pity on us. To you, to you O Lord, Lord, I lift up my eyes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees who say there is no resurrection came to Jesus and put this question to him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us 
if someone's brother dies having a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman and died having no descendants. So the second brother married her and died leaving no descendants and the third likewise. And the seven left no descendants. Last of all, the woman also died. At the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, Are you not misled? Because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. When they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. As for the dead being raised, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the passing about the bush, how God told him, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. You are greatly misled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, welcome to Ordinary Time. We have left this uh, season, even though the virus uh, grounded all of us for the whole Lenten season, major season of the human effort that we make to praise God and to reach out to brothers and sisters. And then the Easter season in which God comes to us. So I often ask myself, which is greater, the efforts we make to reach God are the efforts God makes to reach us. It's obvious, isn't it? So now we enter what we call ordinary time. And so we find, for example, even though it's ordinary time, it's the ninth week in ordinary time. So before the Lenten season, we had many of those 34 weeks that we celebrate in ordinary time, a huge long span. And we go now right up to the Advent season, in this season of ordinary time. And so because we are ordinary people, sometimes we are asked to do extraordinary things. And sometimes we are a little dubious about these extraordinary things because we think of the Gospel, especially in this time, we have the Gospel of Mark and Matthew and uh, Luke and St. John is celebrated at another time. But I, I brought you an ordinary uh, event to explain how ordinary time can be very extraordinary. I have in the Washington Post today, Hall of Famer was instrumental in Washington's only NBA title. Well, there's a picture of Wes Unseld. I remember him very well because he looked like a giant. And here, as uh, Connor was reading this for me this morning under poor light, Mr. Unseld's name is virtually synonymous with the bullets. As an undersized but legendary tenacious center, I, I never thought of him as undersized. <laughs> he was probably about at least six, ten, maybe not, not seven feet. And every time I would remember, uh, scorers, forwards, uh, shooters would come up and they'd hit him on the chest and they would drop to the ground. So he was notable for being in the center and impossible to get through. But what I loved the most of all was, and the end uh, of his life, his, his uh, wife ran a beautiful little school for children in Baltimore. And every morning he greeted the little children and he said they had no idea who I was. So they would Google me and they were amazed who I was. Amazed. They did not know him, but they were amazed. That is what miracles are. We're amazed at what Jesus did for us. And being the Son of Man and the Son of God, of course, uh, Jesus could do amazing things. But for us, um, miracles are the small things of everyday life. Aren't we amazed when we often talk about John or Mary because 
of how good and how kind they were, how ordinary they were, and yet how amazed we are at what people do. And in this time of uh, kind of uh, being sheltered in place with family, I think there's a lot of amazement going on, especially what parents do for their children, how patient they are, how loving they are, how kind they are. So let's uh, remember this ordinary time when we do amazing things that amaze people. Um, so the little children were amazed at this big man who used to sit and kind of asked them to look at him and to uh, be greeted in the morning coming to school early. And so here it says, Mr. Unseld's name is virtually synonymous with the bullets as an undersized but legendary tenacious center. Uh, so I would ask everyone this morning, including myself first, to kind of do a test as if you were your own doctor first and examine your, your extraordinary uh, in your living and how amazed you can be at what you can do for others and how we uh, praise God. So the, the scriptures today talk to us about the power that the Lord gives to us, uh, power and grace. And in this beautiful Eucharist we have two celebrations, one of the Word of God that came to us we remember how God spoke to Moses in the desert. And many churches today only take that part, the Word of God, uh, their Bible churches. But then on, in the desert, the Lord also fed them with manna and quail. So the Word of God and the feeding, and that's what the, our Eucharist is. The Lord speaks to us, and then we go to the altar where the Lord is now become as we recognize from the ancient scriptures the Lamb of God. He was the one slain for us, gave his whole life so that we would live a new life. We would not live just like Wes Unseld lived until he was, I believe, 74, but continues to live for all eternity. So let us pray that Pope Francis, our Archbishop Wilton, and all bishops, will always proclaim the beauty of the ordinary time of the year, even though today we celebrate the martyrs of Uganda, uh, extraordinary giving and shedding of their blood. But then to remember that miracles are ordinary events that make us amazed. We take a second look again, so let us perform many, many of those beautiful miracles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For families too, primary teachers of their own families in the ways of faith, and primary miracles of amazement to their children, that they would continue in this uh, difficult time, in this ordinary time, uh, to praise God and to lead their children in praise and in caring for each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
The last speaker last Friday. Friday. Please pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice of thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying, that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up you. your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed uh, martyrs of Uganda, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and in the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will and live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I must tell you that I was called recently, a couple of days ago, to anoint an old friend of mine. And uh, the whole family were gathered around and I had this beautiful little anointing of the sick prayer book. So I passed it around to each one. And on the second time around, Armando says, Give it, bring it over to me. <laughs> and he took the book and read one of the beautiful readings. And he passed away uh, that night in his sleep. And I would call that a miracle. A miracle because that effort he made in his sick bed was an amazing thing for his family to see. And they will remember that, uh, that beautiful miracle, amazement. That's what it is. And if you also want to check out Wes Unselt, you will find that children were amazed at him. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.